the truth the girls. Hi everyone, it's Sonia here. What I'm going to say in this video, this is not a feel-good video. But you know what? It's the truth. It's a kind of ugly truth that people, I guess, don't want to hear. But it's the truth. Yeah, I felt like making a video about autism awareness. The reality for most people is they're not getting the help that they need. They're not, they're not getting much. The reality is that a lot of kids are diagnosed late. And when they're diagnosed, they go on wait lists. See, Gunner was not diagnosed until the age of seven. But did he ever get called from that waiting list? No, not for anything. Um, this is a big problem in Canada. You know, they keep saying inter early intervention is key. Because they want you to be aware that early intervention is key. The thing is, it, it's very hard to get access to it because when you start to flag the signs, it's not like you get sent for evaluation right away. Things get delayed. Even if you do get sent, referred for evaluation, you wait. By the time you get diagnosed, maybe, maybe if you're really lucky, your child is like two and a half or three. If you get on the wait list at three, <clears throat> your turn will come up when you're five. The problem with that is that when you're five, you're supposedly too old. Um, basically, you'll, like nothing will happen. This is what I'm hearing. I mean, we never got called, but he was already seven. It's like when they're seven, they're like, oh, well, whatever. People get on wait lists and they just stay there. Aren't they doing anything for anyone? Or is it like they're literally doing nothing? They're, they are doing things for some people. It's like if you get evaluated when you're really young, you get on a list when you're really young. If your turn comes up before you're five, You'll get, you'll get into therapy. But after that, they say it's handled through the school. And how did the school handle it? Not very well. No, it was terrible. Okay, you got your shoes on? Can you tie them yourself? Yes. Okay, great. Here's the thing though, like, the government seems to think they can save money by not giving services, but you do not save money. If, if, if children with autism don't get the help that they need, whatever it is, you know what happens? Things get worse as they get older. This is not a problem that goes away. Maybe more than half of my autistic friends are not working. Uh, they're on social assistance with, and or live with their parents in their 30s, sometimes 40s. Here's another reality people don't want to face, that people with autism are more likely to get arrested. Because the kind of behavior you have in a little kid and the little kid, they're like, oh, whatever, that's naughty, you know, we'll just get a handle on him. What do you do when the person is 20 years old and they're big and they're strong? They stop having, like, IEP meetings about it and stuff. They call the police. There is, like, an autism awareness um, demonstration or gathering today, but it's one of those lighted up blue. What? Lighted up blue. Like, he doesn't even know. Oh, look, you're wearing blue. <laughs> Save it. Whatever. Oh look, there's the autism awareness demonstration. That's it. I'm gonna go check it out. Yeah. Oh, they're giving tickets to the zoo. Let me tell you something you need to be aware of. Whenever I see my son's homeschooled because he can't be in school because he's autistic. Oh, aren't there autism schools? Here's the truth. Like for all your unicorns and rainbows, the fact is nobody deals with someone who's disruptive, who's aggressive, who has outbursts, who's uncooperative. Nobody does that. I'm, I've become like kind of cynical, I think, when I see this. I'm like, yeah, really? Look at my son. Like there's no place for him. There's no place for him in school. Like, he has no friends. He doesn't go to any everywhere he's gone, he's been shunned. You know, I'm like alone with him. I, I have almost no support. I have two weeks of summer camp and like three hours of babysitting a week. And the rest of it, I pretty much just have to figure it out. Cynical. Luckily I have faith in God, so I, I do feel like we're not actually alone because like the Lord is So that's uh, 
that's the truth. And before I go, I just want to let you know, I don't want you to leave with the impression that we're, you know, we're just miserable people and our lives suck. I mean, I am really angry about what happened to my son in school and about the, the fact that he didn't get any help for his condition, um, especially during the time when it would have been probably helpful. But, um, you know, we have a lot of happiness in our lives anyway. I mean, we love each other a lot. There's a lot of love in our family. There's a lot of humor in our family. And my son, even though he has problems, and I feel really bad for him that he's so isolated, he's not around other children, but he has a very good sense of humor, and we have a lot of fun together. I mean, I'm just letting you know this so you don't leave thinking, well, my God, you know, like, they must be miserable 24-7. We're not, but I, that doesn't change the fact that I feel that he deserves... To, he, to have help for his problem. He should have had help. The government seems to think they can just save money by not giving autism services, but like I said before, you can't save money. You either spend the money when they're young on therapy, or you're gonna spend it later on social assistance, or maybe uh, jails or rehabs or whatever else. That's the fact. Not getting help really does lead to problems. I'm doing my best personally that I can to avoid those problems, but it's like, it's all on me. I'm not getting help. So this is what I wanted you to be aware of. I hope that's helpful to you. I actually really want to get this message out. I'm getting so fed up that I'm thinking, what can I do? What can I do to help to change this? So maybe you could share this video, get the word out of what we're dealing with here in Quebec. Actually, not just Quebec, Canada. I know Ontario has the same problem. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Thanks for listening to me. And I'll see you next time. Hey, hey.